Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Lana. For this video, I'm actually going to be talking about 22 books that I want to read in 2022. I've seen a lot of people hopping on this trend and I've been seeing a lot of people's videos and they really seem cool and so I kind of wanted to, I don't know, see if it's something I could accomplish doing myself this year. So I um, kind of went through this whole process of I used a random number generator to choose the books off my Goodreads list and I wrote down the 20 new books that happened to be chosen. Um, I didn't record this process because honestly it took a really long time because I had to get the number and then count through all of my Goodreads and so that took a minute. So instead I just wrote all the books down and that's it. I'm gonna go through this list. Some of the uh, books I can't remember the authors for, but I'll definitely make sure to put their covers right up here. So the first book I picked was Brown Crier's Moon. Um, this has been on my TBR for a bit. I even think I got the Fairy Loot edition um, from one of their boxes. So I'm really hyped for this and I'm hoping it's good. Next I have By Your Side by Casey West. I've been wanting to read a bunch of Casey West books for a while so maybe this is the years that I will get to do it hopefully. Three is Geography of Lost Things by Jessica Brody. This is probably the oldest book on this list that I've had on my TBR for a bit so it's probably finally time that I get to it so hopefully I follow through with that. Number four I got Never Night by Jay Kristoff. I still haven't really read a Jay Kristoff book before so maybe this will be the year that I try. Um, I've been getting into fantasy especially adult fantasy over the past couple of months so maybe Maybe it's time, maybe maybe I can actually get through it. Next, I have Lucky in Love by Casey West as well. So again, hopefully this is the year that I'm gonna get through these. Six is Off the Record by Cameron Garrett. I really enjoyed her first book, uh, Full Disclosure. So I'm really excited to check the second book out and see if I enjoy it as much as I did the first one. Next, I have number seven, which is The Queen's Rising by Laura Sebastian. This is another one that's been on my TBR for a while, so I'm glad it was picked. Um, because again, I'm trying to clear my TBR and my shelves off this year. I'm trying to dwindle down those unread books so I can make more space on my bookshelves and just like feel accomplished and feel good about myself later on. Number eight, The Diviners by Libba Bray. Um, this is one of those series that I've heard so many people read about that I've been wanting to try. So hopefully it lives up to the hype. Number nine, I chose Moon Chosen. I think this one is the one by Kristen and PC Cast, or just PC Cast. Um, they did the Marked series, I believe, the House of Night series. So that's a series I definitely want to get into again, but I want to try and read some of their other books. Next, number 10 is White Smoke by Tiffany Jackson. I don't really read a lot of horror, so I'm going to take this as my chance to dive in and see if maybe it's a genre I could potentially enjoy. My hopes are not high because I don't even like horror movies, but I'm willing to give it a chance because I know how much people love Tiffany Jackson and her books, so I want to I want to love her as well. Number 11 is The Beautiful Ones by Silvia, Silvia Moreno Garcia. Um, I'm actually reading that right now as I'm filming this, so I'm making progress on this list already. Look at me go! Um, but so far, I'm really enjoying it, so there's that. Number 12 is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. This is another um, one that I am looking forward to getting to because I don't really read a lot of sci-fi either so I'm hoping this will be my step into that world. Um, I know this is Aaron's favorite. Uh, the Beautiful Ones was Cell's favorite. Um, I have a lot of friend favorites on here too so cool. And number 13 is Radio Silence which is a Chanel favorite. Um, this one is another one I've been meaning to get to for maybe a couple years now uh, so I'm hoping that I'll get to it sooner than later. Uh, 14 the Color of Dragons. This is a one one that I bought last year because the cover was really pretty. So I'm actually hoping to get to this one sooner rather than later. Number 15, In the Ravenous Dark by A.M. Strickland, I believe. This one I picked up last year because it just sounded really good and I got kind of nervous because um, I didn't want it to disappoint me. But I'm hoping to pick it up this year because I definitely want to see if... 
I will love it as much as I think I will. Number 16, XOXO by Axio. This is another one, again, that I picked up last year that I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna love it. I'm just nervous that I won't, but I want to love it. So I'm hoping that uh, it'll it'll live up to the hype for me. 17, When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. This one I've had on my list for a bit. Again, it's more of like a mystery thriller and I don't really step into adult mystery thriller that much. So I'm hoping this will be my jump into that genre. 18 is Queen of the Tearling, which is an adult fantasy. This one has also been on my list for a while. Um, this was a recommendation from Erin. She said, if you really want to get into adult fantasy, this is a good one to start with. So I'm hyped to check it out and see if it's a series I could enjoy. 19, I'll Be the One. Um, I think by Lila Lee. I think that's the author. Uh, this one I'm really excited to get to because it's kind of like a K-pop element story, but I think it has a lot more, um, I think it has queer represent representation as well, so I'm really excited and I've heard really cute things about it, really good things, so I'm here for that. 20, Jane Anonymous. This one I've had on my list for a while too. I haven't heard a lot about it, which I think was why I hesitated to pick it up so far but it's on my TBR, it's on my list, it's on my shelf, so I'm really ready to get through it and hopefully either like it or just get rid of it if I don't. 21, A Fate of Wrath and Flame. This is a Monet recommendation because she really loves fantasy romance books and um, I got this one last year. I think she even gifted it to me and I'm kind of hyped to see if I like this one. I know Cell liked it too and Monet and Cell sold me on the Plated Prisoner series, so I'm gonna take their recommendation with this one as well, as well and hope for the best. <laughs> Hopefully it's another one I can rant to them about. And then 22, the last book, is The Wicked King by Holly Black. So I am excited to get to this one. I am gonna probably use this as a the like determinant factor of whether I will actually finish the trilogy or not because I did not really enjoy the first one as much as I wanted to but uh, I was told the second one has more cardin in it so I'm hoping to see if I'll like the second one more um, than I liked the first and kind of I guess see what everybody really likes about this series. These are the 22 books I'm going to be trying to read in 2022. I'm gonna try to fit them into my monthly TBRs, if not seasonal TBRs, and hope for the best. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm like happy to have a new goal to strive for, I guess. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, or concerns down below. If not, leave me an emoji. If you like the video, please like it down below. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You're awesome flowers in a world full of weeds.